Hello everyone, welcome to the yarn bowl. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this bubble bunnies, pea bunny applique, perfect for Easter decor. It's very simple, very easy to make. You can make them in few minutes. And uh, I have used Easter colors, the pastel shades for making these bunnies. And if you want a free written pattern of these bunnies, it's available in my website, theyarnbowlcrochet.com. Link for that is available in the description. If you have an Instagram account, please do consider following me on my Instagram handle. I post fun reels and project updates on my Instagram. And meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So these are the peep bunny appliques that we are going to make with a nice pom pom tail and it's very nice the stitch is very squishy and uh, they look cute and f they look cute and fluffy and you can use any size 4 acrylic yarn for working these uh, bunny appliques and i've used a uh, pastel shade perfect for easter uh, for making these bunnies and you will need two colors um, in contrast shade one for uh, the bunny and one for the tail i'm going to use four millimeter crochet hook for working this bunny and we'll need scissors so first with uh, the color uh, buttercup which is a light pastel yellow I am going to work a magic ring and then I will work chain 3. This chain 3 is considered as our first double crochet and then I will go ahead work 15 more double crochets on the magic ring. So all together we will have 16 double crochets on the magic ring. And go ahead work 15 more double crochets around the magic ring. So with the chain 3 um, which is our first double crochet we will have 16 double crochets at the end of round 1. Go ahead work 15 double crochets plus chain 3 around the magic ring. Once you have worked 15 double crochets, I am going to tighten the magic ring and then work a slip stitch on top of the starting chain 3 to close this round 1. So at the end of round 1, we will have 16 double crochet stitches and then tighten the magic ring even more and secure it with a knot. So for the next round, we are going to work some a stitch called pebble stitch. I will tell you how we are going to work the pebble stitch. So whenever we work pebble stitch, we are going to work on the wrong side. So I am going to work a chain 1 which does not count as a stitch and turn to the wrong side. And then I will work one single crochet on the same stitch. Then I am going to yarn over, insert my hook on the next stitch, pull up a loop. Now I have 3 loops on the hook. Then once again I yarn over, insert my hook, pull up this insert my hook on the stitch pull up a loop I have 5 loops on the hook then I am going to repeat this one more time and I will have 7 loops on the hook I will yarn over pull through all the 7 loops so that is our pebble stitch and then we work one single crochet on the next stitch so we have got our squishy pebble stitch here and we are going to repeat this again I am going to yarn over insert my hook pull up a loop yarn over insert my hook pull up a loop 5 loops on the hook yarn over insert my hook on the uh, stitch pull up a loop we have 7 loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the 7 loops and then work 1 single crochet on the next stitch so we are going to work 1 pebble stitch in 1 stitch and 1 single crochet on the next stitch and we are going to repeat this pattern around so uh, this pebble stitch is like a regular puff stitch only that we are going to work on the wrong side and then we'll uh, immediately we work a single crochet after we have worked a pebble stitch. So when we turn to the right side, we are going to work. Uh, we are going to see our uh, squishy pebble stitches. So go ahead, work one single crochet in one stitch and one pebble stitch on the next stitch around. 
so at the end of this round we will have 8 single crochet stitches and 8 pebble stitches so since we have started this round with a single crochet we should end this round with a pebble stitch and once we have worked our uh, last pebble stitch we can work a slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet stitch to close this round 2 so now you may know that we have we are working on the wrong side so once you work a slip stitch on top of starting single crochet do not fasten off your yarn we are going to work our uh, head of the bunny and uh, the ears right away so i'm going to work a chain three and turn my work to the right side this chain three is considered as our first double crochet and then we're going to work two double crochet on the next two stitches so we're going to work two double crochet on each stitch for next two stitches so now we have five double crochet in total and on the next stitch i just work only one double crochet so this is our head so now i'm going to work turn my work to the wrong side again turn your work to the wrong side again and work one slip stitch on the next stitch only on the back loop so work a back loop slip stitch on the next stitch and once you have worked that work a chain six this will be our first year and then on the third chain from the hook work one half double crochet stitch and then work one half double crochet stitch each on the next two stitches so all together we have worked three half double crochet stitches on the last chain work one single crochet so we have completed our first year now on the next two stitches work slip stitch on the back loop only now we can proceed working our second year for that I'm going to work a chain 6 again and then work one half double crochet on the third chain from the hook and then work one half double crochet each on the next two chains and then once you have worked that work one single crochet on the last chain and then work a slip stitch on the back loop of the next stitch so you can fasten off and then you can weave your ends our bunny is ready so how simple was that you can just crochet this applique in five minutes so if you're looking for a quick easter decor this is such an easy project looks so squishy and uh, so cute you can uh, make a couple of them and then you can work a chain and then join these bunnies on the chain so you have a cute little cute, cute uh, nice easter bunting the bunny bunting ready you can uh, uh, make this as a wonderful easter decor for your uh, home or your uh, workplace so now I have weaved the ends. Now I'm going to make a nice squishy tail as well, which I'm for which I'm going to use a pom pom. So I'm going to choose a nice uh, a teal uh, yarn for working uh, the tail. So I'm going to um, use my uh, index and middle finger and wrap my yarn around these two fingers for about 25 to 26 times. And then uh, I use a long tail of yarn and cut this and then I will use a long tail of yarn to wrap and tie around the center hold the center and then I make a I make a tight knot this is long tail now um, by holding this long tail I'm not gonna cut this long tail as well I'll just hold this long tail and uh, I'm gonna make a pom-pom so don't cut this tail while you're doing uh, or while you're uh, making your pom-pom we need this tail to attach um, 
the the yarn tail to attach this fluffy tail to our um, bunny applique so make sure you don't cut this long end of yarn while you're uh, shaping up your pom-pom so just shape up your pom-pom and make sure um, the the knot that you tied on the center is really really tight so that um, your pom-pom doesn't come off now I have this end here the yarn tail here I'm gonna um, use a crochet hook uh, and uh, take this yarn to the back of the bunny applique and then tie it with the yarn in that we have while we work the magic ring of round one and then you can fasten off the yarn um, you can uh, cut off the yarn ends so uh, we have one applique ready in no time so this fluffy tail and the squishy stitches makes this bunny uh, look very pretty and I've made couple of these in different shade of pastel colors I love them all so it nearly took 10 minutes for me to make one of this so if you're a fast crocheter I think you'll make plenty of them just in time for Easter so make this and uh, have a lovely Easter decor if you want a free written pattern of this uh, peep bunny applique it's available in my website the yarnbullcrochet.com link for that is available in the description also please consider following me on my Instagram handle where I post fun uh, project updates and reels and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye